Hello YouTube and BitTube, this is Jordan White and today I'm going to be showing you how to mine tube from your very own computer. Now of course uh, this might, this, I think for the time being this only probably works with Windows machines but if you can try to figure out a way around the system, you can do this on a Mac. But uh, this off this process works best if you happen to have a Nvidia or an AMD graphics card installed in your machine. Okay, I'm just gonna go into start mining right here on the official Bit.Tube website. Now, it's, if you see, it says download Tube Miner, what you want to be able to do is click download. I believe they release all the latest versions. You can see that there's a Linux, there's a Windows, a Windows, and well, currently there's no Mac supported, but you you get the picture. I mean, this is kind of a hardcore technical stuff we're tr dealing with here. All right, I'm going to be picking uh, CUDA 9. CUDA is kind of a NVIDIA technology. I think this I think this only works with NVIDIA graphics cards. So if you MD graphics cards, you may be out of luck. But um, I believe BitTube, the, the people developing it, can actually create a miner that will support AMD graphics cards. Unless, of course, CUDA is supported by both AMD and NVIDIA, though I may be wrong on that part. It might Exclusively, I believe it's a NVIDIA technology, so let me click on install this. Of course, I do have a miner installed on my computer, but naturally, rather than uh, using the, you know what, you know what this thing does? It basically just uses your CPU to mine. I don't, I don't know why they have these CUDA names, but regardless, regardless, you do get get a certain indication that. CUDA is only NVIDIA technology. So after you install it right there, you find the folder where you installed it, find the file that you just, just downloaded, and then if you have a, a unzipper, then you just like 7-zip, you can just click extract files. I already just did that and it'll extract the files to a folder as you see right there. Okay, so so basically, you want to click this, the bittube-miner.exe. For safety purposes, I'll be running this as administrator. And if you... So basically, I'm not really an expert on this. And I'll, I'll tell you the truth, not a lot of people are. But if you do are, are an expert, then you probably should click yes. Otherwise, you should probably type no. I'm going to type no. Okay. And you guys can see if the firewall gets gets through to you, you might want to try to... You may want to enable on private and public networks, although it could give you on a risk of a virus, though the, the truth is about blockchain is... It's supposed to reduce viruses. It's supposed to be more secure. And since it's more secure, it will it will free us from the people trying to put in viruses on computers. I mean, last year, like I think earlier this year, it was all about WannaCry or Spectre affecting Intel CPUs. I do have an Intel CPU, but that's beside the point. Let's. Let's allow the access. Okay, so you will get these in configurations back in disabled CPU configuration. Of course, it does. It actually, it is for NVIDIA and AMD. I was so, so stupid right there. But mainly, it uses the CPU. Now, I have an 8 core CPU and 16 threads on it. I kind of got it very early on back in 2015 when Intel was like the only. CPU maker to actually have a big powerful 8 core CPU for it was kind of the extreme edition but a lot more cores have been added to processors over the in the past three years okay 
So basically, if you want to manage your monitor, you go to this URL. I'm just going to copy and paste, then go to here and just click start mining. Of course, of course you are indeed mining. That that if if it's successful, if you haven't have an appearance like that successful, if you get this then you'll you'll get this window and you'll be able to start mining by pressing this button alright so I'm gonna get it to just uh, three CPU cores being used just to mine for two now uh, see if you want to have you see Buddy, Jordan? Yeah? Hey, you need to start closing some windows and some, uh, some of your things you have on, like maybe your tablet and your windows. Okay. Uh, our our Wi-Fi is not doing too good tonight. All right. So, so great time that uh, Dad came over here to admit a little something. You see... Every single time I try to do one of these mining operations, it will affect the CPU usage of anyone who lives in your house or anyone that's uh, on the same network as you. So you better take a risk. So you better be cautious when you try to do mining like this. Also, not to mention, it can suck up the power and uh, bring up your electricity bill. So be wary of that when you do mining. Alright, so... Aside from that window, let's uh, start, click start mining, and of course, it will start the mining operation. Oh, this is why I assume. Oh. Oh. Gee. These seem to work a lot better when, uh, seem to work a whole lot better when I was, uh, it seemed to work a whole lot better, actually, actually it does work, just wait, okay, now it's going off, so there you have it, that's, that's pretty much how you do mining on on your Windows machine for tube. So, with that out of the way, if you follow this video, you'll be able to at least enjoy and have fun and uh, be able to earn a little bit of a tube on the side, which you can exchange for a Bitcoin, which you can exchange for real USD dollars, just to put in your bank account. Of course, investment I mean, is a risky habit, so be wary of that. All right, that's how you mine BitTube on your machine. All right, see ya. Bye. I better shut down a lot of windows before Dad uh, finds out some crazy junk about about it. All right, see ya. Bye.